a mind that is total they are they are built they have converted the gates to fences that even if god wants to find a way into that heart it will be impossible for god to come in the word absolute means that there is no access route for god to enter that heart and if your heart becomes like that the bible says the things you begin to do are the things which are not convenient you will act against your pleasure even you will hurt yourself you remember those priests of Baal? they were cutting themselves they should have had sense that if we ble- i'm sure they're not cutting their stomach maybe one cut his wrist and that's suicidal but they were willing to go to any any length you know hiv does not scare the uh, someone who has entered this mood now uh, there's syphilis so there's gonorrhea what other std do we have eh? oh yeah now i have mentioned aids syphilis gonorrhea and uh, they say could cause something what else they, they, are, they, are, they, are ter- they are very terrible sexual transmitted diseases but he's not thinking diseases he can expose himself to the things that will terminate his life when liquor bar okay many of you don't know liquor bar liquor bar used to be along that road that goes to alata am i right lambda the bar is closed down eh? okay for heaven oh are, are you involved no, I don't mean involved in drinking there because uh, I know that some people mark certain bars. Many years ago, a young man was encountered at um, liquor bar. And the salvation message was being administered to this young man. But this was his response. He said, don't preach to me now that this money is spending, that car outside is his younger brother. It means it was his younger brother that he used to come into money. To buy the car and that they told him that he'll be alive for 10 years that meeting was in his first year so he's confident that the enemy gave him money and gave him a number of years to live and he can trust the devil that if the devil says 10 years don't come now just give me time you can come in the ninth year and then we'll negotiate my soul My talent was that it was the devil that promised him. If he had retained God in his knowledge, he would have been informed that the devil is the father of lies. Lambda, you were here. One of our brothers, I can't remember who the brother was, called us. I used to come to church every day that time. And said that somebody ran mad. They wanted to bring him. A student. So he came here. I prayed. Because I always pray to ask God. Should we go? Should we not go? If he doesn't send you. The person can get well. You can become mad. <laughs> uh, we need to tell younger Christians. That the possession of power. Does not equal the, 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 the commission need to express. What really shows that you are powerful is that you can house it and deploy it only where you are commanded. Because if you have power and that power makes you function, it means you don't have the power to, to withhold power. Are you with me? If not, the man at the beautiful gate will have been cured by Jesus. Peter will have had nothing to do. Jesus will have finished everybody. So Jesus went to Solomon's pouch. How many people did he heal? Just that man, that one paralytic, pick up. I have no man, pick up thy mat and go away. Jesus left people there because Paul will heal somebody. Peter's shadow must touch some people. Are you with me? Yes, so he understood the dimensions of his ministry. The possession of power does not make you a showman. Everyone who plays host to the power of God does it. From a posture of a trustee. Power is a trust. One that you will account for. That you cannot do what you want with it. Amen. 
So, when I prayed, let me they said, let's go there. I said, we will not go there. It was brother Gabriel. You know, you remember brother Gabriel? He used to be with Feka. I now told Gabriel, you know him. I said, tell them that that madness lives now. And when Gabriel gave me the feedback, after like four or five minutes, the madness had gone back to where it came from. But I told Gabriel, I said that this guy will be mad tomorrow. And when he becomes mad tomorrow, his madness will, you will not see the guy again. His madness will be lifelong. He needs to confess how he became mad. That's his path to recovery. Gabriel said, no, sir. He said he wants to give his life to Christ. I said, I understand there is a prescribed path. There is, God, Jesus will receive him. But you see, God is a just God. There, there is, something will be visited and that boy will be mad. Maybe until he sees Jesus. So his friend said, confess, confess. I said, I want to say something. Say, say it, your head is correct now. Well, he felt that his dignity was more important. It is sad to say that the last day they saw that guy as a student was the second day. His madness was so uncontrollable. They took him to a church. They chained him there for, for months. Until what was inside him grew. After the order of the madman on the, from the Isle of the Gadarenes. I say this with a lot of pain. He broke his chains and the rest is history. Whether he's still within the boundaries of the nation called Nigeria or he has escaped or, or maybe has even died. Well, those who know, know. But that was his end. His, his academic pursuit was aborted. What was his crime? Because we found out after a few weeks. He had gone to increase his finances, not by work, but by sacrifice. And what is the instruction was that he should find an elderly woman and forcefully have sexual intercourse with that woman and the woman dies after seven days. Because there was no elderly woman to labor around, this guy marked the woman that used to come and clean the hostel. How can a woman be sweeping your hostel? For how much? And it is that woman you want to kill. Well, the one, the two, the three, the four. On the week that this thing was appointed, the story was that the woman fell sick. You know, some sicknesses are blessings. So when everybody goes to school, this young man will hide. Hoping that the woman will come to clean. But by providence, she didn't come. So that day, first God's mad was day six. They just flashed him. That you, you'll be mad, you'll be very mad tomorrow. Uh, there's nothing to collect from Satan. It's nothing. They told us when we were small, if Satan gives you one thing, you'll collect ten things. If he gives you one step of progress, it takes you back by ten years. Can you compare one step to ten years? There's no future in all this get rich, get rich. That's why on no ground will I compare a struggling Christian brother with a Yahoo boy. They, are not, they don't live in the same realm. Oh. There is, I, I, I know there are many in Obama, so, but I've been saying this with boldness. There's no one Naira from any Yahoo boy with me. If any one of them has ever given me one Naira before, let him come out to say he gave me one Naira. I don't spend strange money. To the glory of God this last week, we still paid for the site in, in, in millions. We pray. I don't know if some of you know that outside the morning prayers, the finance team, there's a finance team for that act and they pray every day, one hour every day since we, since we got that land. Every day. To make sure that God perfects it. We have been shown the way of prayer. We are marking that building with prayer. And I know that the way we have marked this building in prayer will open in prayer. And it will become a house of prayer. But we, we, we have bound ourselves by an oath that will not spend strange money. I can carefully tell you that the donations into that building project are monitored from EFCC in the battle. Everyone Naira they know at EFCC battle. 
we report. So that if any stranger, anybody on their watch list gives money, is one mail. Is to make sure we make sure that the account to the best of our ability are fraud proof. Because if one if strange one Nara enters that place, God may not inhabit it. We won't be poor. But if the way out of poverty is to become a Yahoo boy, is late. So if you are under the sound of my voice and you are feeling pressure, see, pressure does not kill people. Are you with me? Every time you feel pressure, what I used to use to console myself is I tell God, show me, show me. To his house, open the door. I saw five cars. He was a student, he was in 311 that time. He said, you are an intelligent person. What do you do? I said, I'm teaching in the secondary school. He said, how much are you earning? I said, 13,000 naira per month. Ah! He said, even he was an undergraduate. I opened, he was living in a two-bedroom flat. And he was staying alone. His other room was like a game room. All those mega TVs was his gaming TV. He said, see all these things. See, I'm not saying you should kill anybody, but I can help you. I remember what I said to him. I still remember his name. He's late now. No, 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 did, okay, you think any old boy has 50 years? Ah, <laughs> why do you think that there are bike men who are laboring in this town? They ride in the rain, they ride in the night. If blood money was the way, do you think anybody will be struggling? No, no, Bolu. The man that is doing the blood money has he done for his children? When people get money by blood money, does the Babalao spend blood money? <laughs> okay. Ask them where they meet. Maybe the Babalao has built a mansion in town. The man is still staying in a hut, but he's making people rich. Oh, oh Monola. <laughs> ah. May God give people wisdom. There is a part of travel and the reality on that part is that there are many sorrows there are, there are arrows on the road that have been prepared so the bible says those that that want to get rich by all means they pierce themselves with not one many sorrows many 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 i'm trying to show that once you you lock god out there is no end to the possibilities of your depravity. Next verse. 29. Being filled with what? All unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, any other one? Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. There is nothing that you cannot harvest from the life of a man who has locked God out. We have found out that there are progressions in the body of Christ. There is an emergence of people who are in church and from church they shut down on God. And because people have lost touch of the one who is within, the outworkings of those lives communicate things that are so contrary to the government of God. The error is that we have labored to solve external problems. Not knowing that what we see are fruits of a tree that is within. A tree that opposes, that has, a, a tree that has locked God out. So to keep people in the faith, we need to labor again around the consciousness of the one who dwells within, the Christ within, the indwelling Christ. That your reality of salvation, and when I speak of the reality of salvation, I do not just speak of that which happens at the event of salvation. You were saved as an event. And you are designed to live still saved as an experience. 
Are you with me? So there is the event of salvation. There is also the life of salvation. That that life is only made possible because there is still a consciousness of the one that is within. That's why we are laboring in this land. When God is lost within a man, the externalities of that man express a departure from God. So, the part of recovery is to reapprehend the consciousness of the indwelling Christ that is here. Joseph didn't go to Bible school. But when the wife of Potiphar was going to draw him away, he said, I cannot sin against God. And he was willing to jettison the proof of the love of his father, which was his coat of many colors. Oh, sorry, which was his overcloth. He had lost the coat of many colors. He was willing to jettison. The, the, he had a garment that he wore. It was like his official garment as the head, the, 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 the housekeeper in the house of Potiphar. He was willing to leave that overcloth. Some, some, some Bible commentators say that it was not even an overcloth he was wearing. It was his normal clothes. That the woman dragged his cloth. You know, if they drag your cloth, one way, if you watch wrestling very well, if they are dragging your cloth, one thing you can do is to remove the cloth so that the person has the cloth. Some claim that he ran out naked. He was willing to suffer along the lines of his dignity just so that his destiny could escape. He had seen that the best of his life was not in Potiphar's house. One day Potiphar will, for, for food sake, Potiphar will bow down before me. I cannot kill you here. I will never corrupt the seed that I carry. I have power of the Holy Ghost. Nations will drink of fresh wine from me. I will never, I will never corrupt the seed that I carry. Oh, there's help tonight. There's help tonight. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the the nations, nations yeah, yeah, one more time. I will never, never go out. Let them Mama, Tabaria, Tala, Dabakata, Santa, the Conte, Samante, Rato, Kobe, Abia, Kasometa, Nations. Yeah. Yeah. 